Hello, this is Dr. Hope Nordstrom, and I'm going to walk you through how to set up your live text portfolio. So when you log into live text, you will immediately see your dashboard. Uh, this is the dashboard in which you will submit your assignments for every single course, your key assignments for the courses. However, to create your portfolio, you're going to have to go over to the Documents tab, click on the Documents tab, and then since this is the very first time that you are setting up your portfolio, you're going to need to go to New. So I click on New, and you will see that several templates pop up. So since you are working on your Master's or your EDS, you will need to select on MED or EDS portfolio templates. If you're working on your degree in Collaborative Professional Learning, ELL, Reading Specialty, Tech Integration, or Math Coaching, you will select the Advanced Program Portfolio Template. If you're working on your EDS, you will select the EDS Portfolio Template. If you are Ed Leadership or ALP, you will select your um, leadership portfolio here. And then if you are initial license, you will select this portfolio template. So I'm just going to select the advanced program portfolio template to show you an example. But remember to select the one that fits your program. If you have questions, notify your advisor and they will help you uh, to select the appropriate one. So I have now selected this template and I'm going to go down here to create document. Here's where you need to change your title. So I'm going to label this MED student example template. So that way I'll know which one is my template for this video. So I'm going to hit OK. Now it will pop up and it will show you all of the things that you need to change. For the orientation course, you will need to work on this first page and you will also need to work on your resume page as well. Remember that once you finish a page, to go in and delete all of the purple font, those are our helpful hints for you as you work on your portfolio throughout the program. To make changes, you'll just select Edit and make the appropriate changes that you need to make. Uh, once you're finished, you, it automatically saves. And so then, I'm going to show you an example here, Edit. And I am just going to delete all of this. These are our helpful hints. Uh, here's where you insert your name and photo. All right, we'll pretend that I have a, a photo there as well. I'm going to save and finish. And, you, and when you hit the edit button, there will be a place for where you insert your pictures as well. All right, so I've now saved everything. So I go back to my dashboard. Um, and um, I'm ready to go. If I want to go back and work and edit in my portfolio, I'll just click on Documents, and I will find the appropriate template. And you can see we have lots of examples in our um, student bank here. And so there we go. And this is how I set up my portfolio and how I edit. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to notify your advisor. Thanks.